I would like to mention here that some or full content of this session may help you to be a cyber aware, being a cyber savvy, and help you to understand the security concepts while preparing for any cyber security exams like CISM, CISA, CISSP, etc. CISM, you can find this in domain four, which is information security and incident management, and CISSP, you can find under security operations. Now, before we talk about cyber security incident response, we need to have a common understanding of what constitutes a security incident. Let's talk about some common vocabulary used by cyber security incident handler. We'll talk about events, adverse events, and incidents. Let's see what is security events. Friends, a security event is any occurrence in a system network or application that may have security implications there is no requirement that a security event be malicious or dangerous if a user attempt to log into a system that is a security event even if a log in which uh, uh, it was a successful and authentic then that is also a, a security event if a firewall accepts or deny a connection request that's a security event if a user access a web page or a file on a server you guessed it correct that's a security event every organization experience thousands or even millions of security events each day Next is adverse security events. Adverse security events are a subset of security events that have some negative consequences. A user logging into a system with his or her, or her assigned account would be a security event, but it won't be an adverse event. However, a user logging into a system with someone else's account would be an adverse event. There are many other types of adverse events. Activities that cause a network technical failure, disclosure of sensitive information, the loss of critical data, or infection by malware would all constitute adverse security events. Security incidents. Friends, security incidents are adverse security events that have either caused or threatened to cause a violation of the organization's security policy. If an attacker steals sensitive information and provide it to a competitor, that's clearly a security event incident. Some adverse event may not rise to the level of security event, security incident. I'm repeating, some adverse event may not rise to the level of the security incident. However, for example, if someone launch a botnet attack against your web server, that might not rise to the level of the security incident unless it actually affects the availability of your website. You can think of this as a set of nested definition. Every security incident is an adverse security event. And every adverse security event is a security event. However, we can have a security events that are not adverse events. And adverse events that are not incidents, it is important to know and understand that these terms as you develop and implement your organization cyber security incident response plan. We generally discuss only the adverse events only that do rise to the level of security incident. I need to make one more point here, friends, that before we move on, just because an adverse event doesn't rise to the level of security incident doesn't mean that you do not need to do anything. Cyber security teams respond to adverse events all the time and make change to control that better define the organization. 
the distinction is that unless there is a real or a threatened violation of the security policy we do not need to go to trouble of activating the organization entire incident response plan we just handle these adverse event as a part of our day to day activity 